Hello right, everybody, welcome back to another Max Payne video. Make sure to save here, that way, you know, <laughs> just in case. Hey, you don't do it, Good thing that we saved. <laughs> hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. I'll cover you from here. Um, I need to need to go back, please. Okay, I'll just um, you know, wanted to know what she said, but I guess the game is gonna. Okay. <laughs> hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. I'll cover you from here. Oh, okay. There he is! <laughs> oh, jeez, I could have fell there. Oh, that would have been bad. I forgot I was recording. Ah, anyways, already. Came back to the video. Uh, we're playing Max Payne. Make sure to restart so we could, you know. Behind a car, you can't shoot me from here. Oh my gosh, that was a bad decision. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> hey, you do this. Load. Okay, grab this one. It's useless to me. Oh god. Okay. Alright. Grab the AK. Good save. Alright. Now actually let's save. Okay, reload. Uh. Sniped. <laughs> Took off with a bunch of weapons I could have used. Oh, that sucks. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cognitti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. 
Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, Max, don't do anything stupid. Hey, look, this is Mona's our thumbnail. place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I have food here. So let's try and make this quick. Address on now. Oh, it's E to zoom in. Oh. Not a very good zoom in. Hmm. Alright, dualies here. This is a door, yep. Can open that. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. Oh, the flesh of fallen angels. are more fun than television. How fun. <coughs> no. Wow. There's a wor working phone in there? John. been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. <laughs> Little wonder. Oh. Oh, Warshack test. And look, a little bun. The flesh. Oh, the flesh. death is coming. I think I die. coming. I think I'm here. They're here. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. It's I'm making you mad. Oh, God. We're forced to operate. What an interesting like take on like a an insane asylum. Diagnosis: paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane, psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. <coughs> yeah, I figured I was gonna go in there. Huh? Red rum. Murder. Mirrors are more fun than television. She has dyed her hair red. I'm guessing I can't open this. Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. Yeah. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. <laughs>
I feel like there should there she has dyed her hair red. Welcome to the next level. Exactly what is the point of this place? Nice. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Next level? The uh, Twilight Zone. I've always liked these rooms. Even though they're like super trippy, I've always liked them. I've always liked this hallway kind of sequence thing. Oh, well, I guess they found I was escape. behind the backdrops, getting warm. Hmm. I'm gonna guess this does something. Hmm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. I'm sorry. I bet this door wasn't Mona's open. door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more. Keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Lords, Lords and ladies, and ladies. You oh my like god. I should be able to open that. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are oh, question. Well, I'm good on painkillers. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama! Leave our parents out of this. Papa. Such a well on his way to recovery from the consumption. When the news of you carrying on with that wench... Taking a shower? The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead. Because of you. I'll take the MP5s and continue seeing her at your own. This thing does it eagle. That's kind of weird. Me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. Well, I guess I'll just, you know, snoop in. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. The Million Dollar Question, Chapter 7. Wow. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. 
And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here. So we can stay in touch. What a smart plan. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. Oh! How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Across the room, slow. Taking her time like she was a supermodel on a catwalk until she's standing real close to me. Well, that's just it. Goes, what you don't see is that we are so working mine. here. And I play it cool. close. I the police are coming. I've called them. They'll get you. I've called the police. What? Kaufman is a bad motherfucker. Of course, that's not his real name. Yeah, no, I see it. I meant nothing by it. And that's the other thing. You should mean something by it. Take this. You! Uh, die. They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. Mm -hmm. So that's the way out. Shotguns. Can't open that door. Can't open this door, though. Found a body. A thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. No. Was somebody supposed to be there and I just missed it? Oh my god. You can't hide. Die. 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 Oh, die. No, I think I've used that enough. Switch to dual pistols. Free laptop. This Nothing poor guy's here. home. Check upstairs. Search the place. Strip it down. I'm going upstairs. Everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the CSI crew gets here, it needs to look like a black hole materialized in here and sucked every print, every hair, mm. every moat of dust away. Like every dust. Wow. Back in a time machine and killed his parents before they met. Like this guy never existed. Let's do it. Almost done. The fat man wasn't ready to go. No? Nope. Tried to put up a fight, like killing an elephant. Took a dozen bullets before he went down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Right. Moving out soon. Yeah, I'll take care of it downstairs. Uh, mm. Don't let him get away! <laughs> Damn it. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come I was eating my food. Anyway? No, I saw you take a bullet. We're, we're gonna, we'll, we'll be back soon.